Second Wave Film Center and is produced by John DeSando and Johnny DiLoretto. Listen to shows online at WCBE.org. I'm Johnny DiLoretto. I'm John DeSando. This is Cinema Classics. It is. Who are these people? I thought we I left them years ago. I don't know. I'm going to tell you in advance. I'm, I'm ill-equipped to... <laughs> To really do this topic Listen, justice today. Part of Cinema Classics is for us to learn along with our audience. Okay. So we've got to start somewhere. I agree with you. Well, I'm embarrassed to say it because South Korea yeah. is one of the great movie producing hubs it in the is. world. It is. That's why It I has been for about 20 years yes, or so. Yes, I know. So recently, it's what I call an invasion. We're getting more and more, and perhaps best signified by the the... the uh, victory of Parasite last year at right. the Oscars. So there are a couple of guys at the head of this this invasion. And when we say invasion, what's really kind of, you know, <laughs> disingenuous about that is that these films have been readily available. Yes. It's just that maybe now because there's an appetite for them commercially, we're going to see more of them. I think a lot of it has to do with Bong Joon-ho. Uh, and his Parasite, and his Snowpiercer, which I love. Yeah, now Snowpiercer was a little sly kind of entry into this, into the whole, I think really sort of a key component of, of the success of South Korean films here, because no one knew it was a South Korean film. It starred uh, Chris Evans and yes. Tilda Swinton. Yes. It had this really great uh, premise, yeah. apocalyptic, post-apocalyptic. 17 years they're circling the earth in the train. And it's a uh, it is a claustrophobic action film <laughs> yes. with a lot of dystopian kind of you know and with a favorite <clears throat> and with a favorite South Korean theme of class structure. Okay, yeah, yeah. Great. And so that's when Chris Evans, as the working class guy, moves to the front of mm -hmm. the train, okay. to kind of spread the wealth. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's a it's great. And Parasite, of course, is a, is another very popular Asian story of family. Mm -hmm. And and you're going to find four out of the seven that I listed that I knew about yeah. were about family. Interesting. That's really interesting. <laughs> uh, real quick, I want to mention that there is a video on YouTube that is really fascinating. If you watch Snowpiercer, if you haven't seen it, watch it again or watch it for the first time. And then go look at this YouTube video of Willy Wonka. <laughs> No. At, it, Snowpiercer is the sequel to Willy Wonka, <laughs> and it will blow your mind. Oh, really? Very yes, good. It will blow your mind. Okay. Now we're not talking the TV show Snowpiercer, which I no, have no, not. No, no, we're seen. talking about the movie, the movie. Snowpiercer. Okay. Yeah. I haven't heard really great things about the TV show. Yeah. Uh, before we jump off the the <laughs> Bong Joon Ho train, I do want to mention that this year, this past year, one of his first films uh, was re-released, and I don't know if you caught it. We saw it actually at the film center. Uh, Memories of Murder from 2003, oh, yeah. Yeah. based on a true story about this investigation into a, a series of uh, killings of young women um, on the Korean in a sm small Korean countryside town. Yeah. Well, probably to show us uh, that's going much earlier than I'm familiar. I'm back to 2016. Okay. Probably to show us that he can do as well as we can. He has a zombie film. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Train to Busan. Train to Busan. It's tough getting from that's Seoul. That's not Bon Joon-ho. Uh, <clears throat> you're right. I don't think I'm sorry. Right. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, but maybe... Uh, you're kicked out of the bong <clears throat> hive. No, I, I can redo this. I yeah. can say, and, and to show us yeah. that they can do as well as we can with any genre, you have director Yon Sang-ho doing Train to Busan. Okay, yeah. It means it's very difficult to get from Seoul to Busan when you're... When you're, when you're, you're you with zombies. <laughs> by zombies. Um, going back to the same year of Memories of Murder, 2003, and I yeah. think this actually, I would say this is the movie that really kind of captured the imagination of cinephiles, young moviegoers, who really sort of let these, these filmmakers, you know, through the doors here. Uh, old Boy, Park Chan-wook. Okay. Do you remember Old Boy? Nah. Guy wakes up, he's, he's being held prisoner in a room for 10 years, and then he's finally released, mysteriously. Good. For oh, what yeah, reason, we don't care. know. Yeah. And he goes and tries to find out who put him in that room. Great movie. <laughs> Remade by Spike Lee. Oh, yeah. Starring, it's called Old Boy. Oh, all right. He directed yeah. the American yeah. version. Great, great choice. Uh, I'm impressed by Lee Chang Dong's 
Burning. Oh, yeah, yeah, Burning. Stephen Yoon, who's, who appears in uh, Minari. Yeah. Uh, stars in that one in a kind of coming of age teenager, mm -hmm. uh, a, a little bit inspired by Faulkner's Barn Burning, okay. and uh, one where very complicated relationships uh, with the girlfriend and with buddies. Sure, interesting movie. It is a slow burn. <laughs> that movie is. We'll for try you. your patience. <laughs> I know it would. I um, thought it would. What else you got? Yeah, well, <clears throat> to to kind of complete my thoughts about. Happy Cleaners. Mm -hmm. It's not a happy situation, but it is a family, like the family in Parasite, trying to make its way. This is more legitimate. They're in New York. They're, you know, they run a dry cleaning establishment. How competitive do you think that is? Very, <laughs> very <laughs> so. So anyway, they get bounced out by uh, an active uh, young landlord mm. who wants something better for it. Okay. And so then it depicts how they have to come to terms with that, and in the end, it's that they have to look at each other and say, I love you, and we're going to get through this. It, it binds the family. The tragedy binds the family together. Very popular Asian theme. Okay. I got one for you before we wrap up. No, no, yeah, yeah. This is one of my favorite uh, <clears throat> movies from South Korea I saw a couple years ago. It's called I Saw the Devil. It is a Cracker Jack <laughs> mashup between a cop movie and a serial killer investigation. <laughs> Wonderful. And so what happens, I'm going to tell you this premise, you're going to run out and immediately watch this movie. The There's a serial killer, right? Yeah. Um, the cop catches him, but instead of arresting him or killing him, he just tortures him and lets him go and then keeps capturing him. Excellent. He catches and releases and catches and releases and gets involved in this cycle. So it, of death and menace. Around all day. Yes, it's, it's so great. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I forgot one. Yeah. It's currently out. Well, you're out of time now. So Am I already going to do it? No, go ahead. Like an order, I've one last one. always edit myself back in. <laughs> yes, you could. Minari. Oh, yeah. Okay, another family. Talk about, there's a lot of talk about this being the best movie of the year. Well, it's not going to be. Okay. Uh, Nomadland. But it's it's very good. And I don't, I, and we did leave one off of Bong Joon-ho that both you and I, I think, loved. If the I host. remember. The host, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Fun little monster movie. Which is, is a real barn burner, so <laughs> to speak. Yeah. All right, excellent.